Today, I want to talk to you regarding cholesterol and how it is affecting the heart health. There is a lot of hype surrounding cholesterol of late, mainly because of adverse reports from lot of media, social platform and more so from the NHS. So, th studies have shown that not all cholesterol is bad. Yes, it is quite true that not all cholesterol is bad. So, if you look at cholesterol, we can divide it into two or three components. Cholesterol in our body is carried by lipoproteins, the primary components of which are the high density lipoproteins, which is the good cholesterol and the low density lipoproteins, which is the bad cholesterol. Now, why the good and the bad? HDL is called the good cholesterol because it collects cholesterol from the peripheries, brings it back to the liver for burning while LDL is called the bad cholesterol because it takes or deposits cholesterol in the periphery. Production of cholesterol effectively reduces artery disease, whether it is coronary artery disease or cerebral artery disease. So, in effect, the incidence of heart attack and stroke comes down when you control cholesterol. Now, how can we go about controlling cholesterol without using drugs? This is brought about by purely change in our lifestyle. This can be brought about by two ways. One, exercise. Two, diet. Now, talking about exercise, as per international guidelines, the daily recommended exercise for maintaining a healthy heart is 45 minutes of cardio, which can include activities like running, brisk walking, cycling, sports like tennis, badminton, swimming, anything that involves movement for a period of not less than 45 minutes per day on at least five to six days a week. The other aspect of lifestyle modification is diet. Diet for control of cholesterol mainly centers around avoiding deep fried items, reducing your carbohydrate intake and increasing the portion of vegetables in your diet. So you should fill your stomach with salads and vegetables. Now, if cholesterol cannot be controlled by our lifestyle changes, what next? The next logical step will be the introduction of drugs. Now, the majority of drugs that we take for cholesterol has its action on LDL reduction or bad cholesterol reduction. Now, coming to the drugs for cholesterol, there is a lot of apprehension and fear regarding the side effects of these medications. Yes, it is true that all allopathic medications will have side effects. Since the statins or the drugs for cholesterol acts on the liver, the majority of side effects are seen in the liver. So you have liver enzyme elevation, then you have mus muscle cramping, so you have a CPK elevation. Now, all these are checked at regular intervals when a patient is on statins. There is a lot of hype again surrounding fertility and cholesterol medications. To be precise, cholesterol medications can decrease sperm motility, but it has absolutely no effect on your fertility or for that matter on sperm count. So, if it comes to that stage wherein you have to take a medication for cholesterol, do not think twice. Cholesterol is not a hoax and treatment of high cholesterol levels is needed to reduce the incidence of heart disease or stroke. Thank you. Aster DM Healthcare. We'll treat you well.